Top story this morning, major airlines hoping for a fresh start to the week following thousands of flight cancellations over the weekend. Those problems creating quite the travel nightmare for folks at local airports like at TF Green and Logan up in Boston. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joining us now live in Warwick outside of the airport with what officials are telling us this morning and the frustration really, Kayla, that those travelers have been experiencing. Hey, good morning, Erica and Patrick. That's right. The majority of the flight problems at local airports involved JetBlue. So we checked this morning. Currently, there is only one flight delay involving JetBlue here at TF Green and a handful of other cancellations and delays at Boston Logan Airport as well. Now, it comes after a frustrating weekend at airports all across the country with major carriers canceling more than 3,300 flights and delaying thousands more. In a statement to 12 News, JetBlue blamed severe weather in the southeast and air traffic control delay programs for the flight changes. The result, stranded luggage and stranded passengers like this group forced to drive 17 hours from Nashville back home to Massachusetts after their flight to Boston was delayed multiple times and then canceled altogether. We got an email that just said, sorry, your flight has been canceled. Zero explanation at all. All the flights were just unavailable or they were like $1,500. Now JetBlue says that the recent cancellations will help them reset and they're working to get passengers on their way as quickly as possible. But some say it's not just weather that's causing problems at airports all across the country. We'll hear what one local industry expert is saying coming up in the next half hour. For now, live in Warwick this morning, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News. All right, what a mess over the weekend. Latest now on this travel nightmare that played out at airports nationwide over um, the last couple of days. A mess indeed. Thousands of flights canceled or delayed, leaving passengers stranded and frustrated. It's never the news you want to get when you're waiting to catch a flight, right? So Kayla Fish live outside TF Green Airport this morning. Kayla, you've been tracking how the airlines have been responding, what passengers have been saying. What's it looking like this morning? Hey, good morning, Erica and Patrick. Well, things seem to be getting back on track with only one flight delay here at TF Green this morning and a handful of delays or cancellations at Logan Airport up in Boston. Now compare that to this past weekend where travelers locally and across the country were forced to come up with some sort of backup plan when their flights were delayed or abruptly canceled. The majority of the local issues were with JetBlue flights, the airline saying in a statement that severe weather in the southeast and air traffic control delay programs were to blame. But one local aviation expert says there's more to this story. It's much more than weather. The main culprit, there's a lot of things, but the main culprit uh, is a pilot shortage, uh, as well as flight attendant shortage and mechanic shortage. The airline industry is experiencing the same thing a lot of other industries are experiencing. Now, this all comes as major airlines continue lobbying for an end to the federal mask mandate on public transportation that's currently set to expire on April 18th. That's the latest live in Warwick this morning. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.